I'm in Ocala, my old stomping grounds. Let's go inside, see what's popping. So Duke got the champs in the cut, so we gotta pull up to that. That big old billboard you saw, that used to be Sears. They locked it off. It's been closed now for years. So the dude got 70% off everything under the sign. 76 are shorts. We got some Laker joints. These not that bad. I like these. We got Heat and the Bulls. And I already got these. Actually, I bought these in Philly and rocked them in New York. These Laker joints ain't that bad. But how many Bulls shorts do you actually need, though? 70 beans. Same percent off. They end up being 40 beans per short. This rack is full of cross-colored tees. I grew up on cross-colored, man. So it's only right that I pick up a few. Plus, it's $9.99. Can't beat it. You dig? So they got a whole bunch of Air Maxes. So this is the kids section right here. As far as I can see, it's the only retro I see in the building. Might be the only retro of all gender and sizes. It's these red sixes. I do buy my son these 40 beans. That's like competing with outlet prices. These hitting for the same price that I have found in the outlet. So that's cool to see. A whole bunch of NMDs in different colorways. 100 beans for that. This maroon joints, 100. These ones I have never seen before, but I like it though. Also some Greek freaks in the building as well, but these are $109. Okay, the outlet definitely got these prices beat. That's half the price in the outlet. Nah, and I'm like, maybe 60 beans there. The LeBron's is a lot cheaper, but they're cheaper here. That's, that's not bad. They also got the Kyrie's, but these are retail. I bet you, 130. All black Karachi's, 100 beans, cheaper in the outlet. You got the white joints. Actually, I take that back. I actually think they're more in the outlet. Now this shoe I have found a whole lot cheaper. I found a half off an outlet. These are $99.99. This is the Prestos. Retail at $145. I got mine for like 30 beans, 35 beans, if that. Those I got for $24. They're here for $119 here. Sat down, I found these uh, Fair God joints for 40 beans. You got the yellow, black, and red. I actually got this joint. How can I forget this? This is a 37, and it's hitting for 100 beans. Found these in the outlet. Clear store to be exact. A lot cheaper. So they got these free ones for $19.99, you know. It's the shoe I was buying my son. Unfortunately, they only have seven wide in the building. I tried to order like a three and a half, but I couldn't. So I'm going to try to hit up Florida Mall in my area to see if I can get that shoe at my price in my son's size. So we about to pull in the Snipes, formerly, formerly known as Jimmy Jazz. Damn, they got three pairs of these uh, silver bullets. A lot of people didn't go after these shoes. I like them. I don't have the new versions, but I do have the 2017 pair. I also had a 2017 pair of these, but I got rid of them right before these came out. So I doubled back and got the 2023 or maybe 22 pairs. But there's a plethora of Air Maxes in the building, Air Max 90s, the things called the P. I forgot, <laughs> I forgot. I haven't seen this colorway. Well, I like that UNC blue colorway. For some funny reason, I feel like I got this pair, but maybe I don't. I did find this pair for $24.99 at Marshall's. Real talk, yeah. We got the Bo Jacksons. Wow, are these still available? I thought these sold out everywhere. They also got the Raider colorway. They also got the Flight joints, Flight 89s in the building, Dunks, Air Force Lows, and Mids, along with the Jason Kids and the LeBron 20s. Nothing on sale in this section. This is different. Why do this look like that? Baseball stitching is kind of heavy too. Air Trainer ones, light and blue. I like to see Brooklyn attire in the building. That's nice. You got the Duncan jersey. Not mad at it. Magic shorts. Phoenix Sun swimming trunks. I have never seen a zipper on some swimming trunks, yo. It's supposed to be the seal rack right here. Got some Greek freaks in the building. With 65 beans, 50 beans for these Kyrie's. Black and white, size 9, 5 low. Kyrie, low fives, 50 beans, okay. Greek Freak 4 is what's in here, though. Okay, we've seen those in the outlet. And for the kids, man, there's a ton of Air Jordan retros in the building. 13 joints, 12s, the mids, the threes, reimagines. You got the twos. Okay. Lucky green joints. Thunder fours. I need a pair of these in adult stuff. That's your women's shoe. So I have to get that extended side version, like a 13 and a half. Jordan 1 mids, Toro 6s. I think this is like mixed with gray schools and adults. Playoff 13s, black flints, Jordan 2 lucky greens. Clearly we know that's a kid's shoe. And you got the Zoom Air Comfort 2s, which I think about this color. It look like a mid Beyonce shoe, man. This does look like a mid. 3 7s, I forget what that's called. These elephant joints came out like a year ago, man. They're still in the building. And these fives just recently came out. You already know what these are. These still in the building. Size 13, though. Next on the list, Foot Locker. 
It's so quiet in here. Adidas got his own section, man. They got the Gilbert Arenas. This color, I actually got this shoe, believe it or not, found it at Ross. They got it here for 150. This color I have never seen before. But it's in here though. This is Trey Young's with the boost on the back heel. It's found an outlet, cause they're going for 80 beans and give or take, man. I'll let me have them more, sometimes less. It seems like these are everywhere, man. It seems like every store have them. Even though Cal 210, that's probably the reason. But I do want it. What's up with these mids? Why is Jordan doing this, bro? The white cements in the building. Not mad at it. Air Maxes. We got the Griffey joints, the 95s. Air more up tempos. Different flavors. Roxy joints. And you got the LeBrons. Greek Freaks, what you asking? 130. Oh, man. Never in my size, man. Size 11 and the size 13. That's obvious. So we about going JD Sports to see what's popping. It's been a while since I've been in here. It's like the men's section. Air Maxes all day. It look like majority of them discounted too. But these ones are 120, but these are buck 30 though. You're actually saving $20, man. They used to be 210, but they're going for 190. However, I paid 100 for mine. And I saw this in shoe palettes for a whole lot cheaper. And this colorway I have never seen before. It's maroon, I'm not mad at it. 210 is the price. And I actually like this. Apparently it might be exclusive to JD Sports because I haven't seen these anywhere else or ever actually. Okay. Gotta have these. And I have them. These are five. They're still available. Mike Smith, I'm coming after you. I'm not sure why anyone want a white heel. Here's Jordan 1 Chicago. Lucky Green Mid. And the 312s. Anyone copping the 312s? I know a couple years these sat. I got mine like 40 beans. Still have it. Rocked it. But I want to know what y'all got feelings about them today, man. Will y'all rock them now? For some reason, I doubt y'all. More Jordans. But these are the six rings. LeBron's. Even the Stephen Curry's. KD right above it for 140, yeah. They do have dunks in the building. These are black and white joints. 125 now? Yeah, they've probably always been 125. And the chocolate joints right above it. I'm not sure if that's picking it up. Cause this joint, you know, if you're colorblind, it probably look like black and white. And also the camera can also play tricks on you. All white mids. Like anything in life, anytime you want something in a particular color, it's very affordable. Price is always, I just like these shorts, man, but it's 20 beans. If it was the price of the colors I don't want, I would have pulled the trigger. But it's always the colors you do want, the price be higher. And that's true about sneakers, man. This supposed to be the new Hirachi. Hirachi on the tongue, 140. They call your Hirachi runners. Okay, I have never seen this. 140 is the price. When I think of Hirachi, I think about this. Not these, but they have in different colors as well. This color's not that bad. Very similar to a New Balance, and what's right next to it? A New Balance. I'm gonna look at the same. I haven't lived in Ocala for like the last five years, man. So this was my mall to go to. I did this video for all my neighboring people of Marion County. The Panic Mall has a few shoe stores in the building with a variety of items for affordable pricing. Guys, Chance Sports had those Nikes for 20 beans. That's outlet price. That's typically what I pay when I buy shoes for my kids from the outlet, $20. Unfortunately, they didn't have my kid's size, but I usually go up in size so that way my son can grow into them. You don't want to buy shoes when they need them. You want to buy shoes that they can grow into. That way you save money. Never want to hunt or shop when you need something because you're going to pay what they ask you. You're going to pay present day pricing. But nevertheless, guys, they also had those Michelin-esque basketball shorts. These joints. And I posed a question in the video. How many Chicago Bulls shorts is too many? And the answer is zero. There's never enough. You can always buy Chicago Bull basketball shorts because this team is iconic because Michael Jordan play for them. So I will always buy Chicago Bulls basketball shorts. And these joints were $40 from Champ Sports. If you guys look in, pull up to your Champ Sports to see if they have your size and your team available. And since I'm from Orlando, I had to pick up Orlando Magics and I pick up a few more. For those who love Orlando Magics, hit me up. I may have a few available for sale. Outside of that, it's always good to visit different locations so your mind can get a refresh. Map out your wallet. You never know what you'll find in the building. So you may see prices at different locations like, ah, whatever. But that's the locations we always frequent. So it's good to step outside, go into a rural area, go to a dead mall or a dime mall and see what's in the building. If they got shoe stores, it's worth the visit. You never know what you will find. So I hope this video motivate others, not just in the Central Florida area, man, but outside of Florida itself, man. When you watch these videos, I I know you guys like to save money you guys like to live vicariously through me and i'm not asking you guys to go shopping every time i drop a video but i want you to keep that in back of your mind what is in my store because if frank saw that i wonder what i have believe it or not some sales are not available in other states so i may have a sale here but you may not have in your area and vice versa man so you will have different items than i would 
That's dope. Because you get to come up in different ways. We all win at the end of the day. Anyways, that's, that's a dope rhyme. I'm going to see you in the next video. Peace.